Come here, son. Come say hi to the people. They ain't seen you since you was a little baby. Say hey, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Be for real, I am Brit. So I miss you guys. Mm, I miss. You. Wait, am I doing it? I miss you guys. It's been so long. My life literally got so hectic. I do want to do a life update video for you guys. So be sure to drop some questions for me in the comments. I want to do like a dedicated life update video to let you guys know what's been going on, where I've been, what I've been doing. Um, if you follow me, then you know that I opened up a juice bar. So real quick plug. 2300 West 4th Street, Chester, Pennsylvania, inside the Marketplace Food Court. I have a full service juice bar where I also cook up some dope vegan eats, okay? So be sure to follow that at Be For Real Juiced on Instagram. But also, I have an e cookbook that I worked on and put out. So, guys, I'm just so excited. So many things have happened and are going on. So, I have an e cookbook. It's called A For Real Guide to Vegan Soups and Stews. This is the perfect time to make yourself a soup or a stew. Okay, the vegan cookbook is $11.99. You know, click the link in the description box. It'll take you right to it. If you make a vegan soup or stew out of my cookbook, be sure to tag me. Let me know how you did. I definitely want to see your food pictures. So, yeah, today I couldn't let World Vegan Day pass us by without making a video. So, that is why I'm here. And I'm also here to let you guys know that I am going to be more consistent. I miss you guys. Like, I miss doing YouTube. I miss making videos. Like, this is where it all began. And <sighs> I miss y'all. Moral to the story. So, if you are new here, be sure to like and subscribe. Clearly, you know, we a family over here. It's the YouTube fam over here for Be For Real. So, today, we are going to be making vegan video ramen. Now, I can literally eat this every single day. But God told me that I can't have carbs like that. Because if I have one carb, <laughs> I gain like 10 pounds. It's like really strange. So, um, it's the noodles for me. So, I think next time I make this, I'll probably make it with some kelp noodles. Don't tell nobody. But, um, yeah. So, I'm not going to ramble. Be sure to drop your questions in the comments below. So, that way I can do a life update Q&A type mukbang video for y'all. I'm very excited to discuss um, me. Y'all know. I'm just trying to give y'all a life update. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble. I'm going to go ahead and hop right into the video. All right, y'all already know what it is. We're going to hop, skip, and jump through these instructions. Everything is very self-explanatory. So here we are starting out with jackfruit as our meat substitute. I am de-seeding my jackfruit. Now, before y'all run to these comments, I know that you do not have to do this step. I know that the seeds will soften if you cook everything together. I know that. However, for me and mine, I just don't like the seeds. I like to de-seed them. So, in your house, you know, when you do your own video with your own family, then you do it how you want. But in my house, we're taking these seeds out, okay? And we're going to shred it at the same time. We're going to kill two birds with one stone. So, in this bowl, you're also going to see me seasoning up this jackfruit. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, some pepper, a little bit of thyme. Nothing too crazy. I just like to season all parts of the video. It packs a lot of flavor, so you don't have to do too much. But I am just going to season this up a little bit. All right, so with our chiles, we have our chili de arbo. That's the small one. We have our guajillo chiles. We have our pasilla chiles. Okay, Spanish is not my first language, so bear with me. I'm doing the best I can, all right? So we are going to go ahead and open up these peppers, de-seed them. Very simple. If you are sensitive to spice, you may want to use some gloves. Also, the chili de arbol is super spicy. So, I use three just because I am no stranger to spice. But if you are, or if you can't handle it, just use one or none. Okay, I'm warning you now. It packs a kick. So, we are just going to go ahead and DC all of these. Then we are going to get our water popping, placing half of an onion, all of our chilies. 
three bay leaves. We're going to toss in some garlic cloves. I'm going to be using mushroom seasoning today for our birria. So I'm going to use about two tablespoons of this. We're going to toss that right in there. We're going to stir this up and we're going to bring this up to a boil. It's going to take about eight minutes to get everything nice and soft. And while that's going ahead and cooking, we are going to hop right over to our jackfruit. I'm just placing this in a pan because I don't know about y'all, but I like to get a little, you know, brown on my jackfruit, a little sear, you know? I don't like it so jackfruity, if that makes sense. So while that's getting together, we are going to take everything that's in our pot and we are going to toss it into our blender. The only thing I'm not blending up is the onion. I am just going to add two cups of the broth, a fourth cup of some vinegar. We're adding in some oregano, some cumin, some thyme. We are going to shake in a little bit of salt. It's not a full ancestor shimmy like a half. And we are going to blend this. I blended it for about two minutes. So once that's done, I'm going to toss in our jackfruit into the broth. We are going to get our strainer and we are going to strain our soup or stew or consomme. Child, I don't know. We are straining our mixture into the strainer here. And yes, I sure did add some veggie broth in there to get all of my little soup. Okay. We got to get everything. That's how my mom taught me. I don't know about y'all. So I'm going to just take this spoon here and we are just going to sift not sift, strain all of our contents right in our mesh strainer here. I'm just going, you know, use the back of that spoon and get right in there, okay? So we're going to flick our wrist, give that a nice stir. I am going to be making my ramen. This is the ramen I'm using. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I wasn't a big fan of this ramen, only because I like curly ramen. Like, I think because that's what I grew up on, that's what I like. I don't know. It was good, though. It wasn't, like, a bad texture. So, here I'm just assembling the ramen. We are going to throw that onion that was in the pot. Oh, yeah, we used that. We chopped that up. Threw in some cilantro, some lime. And look at that, y'all. 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 Come on, y'all. Come on. It was so quick and easy, I'm telling you. Anybody can make this. It's so simple, okay? I don't want to hear nothing about nothing. Make this. Tag me in it because I want to see because I already know it's lit. Mm-hmm. It's giving. I mean, part of me shall I cut the video off, but uh, with the cilantro and the onion. All right, y'all. So, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you go grab my cookbook, A For Real Guide to Vegan Soups and Stews. It's only $11.99. Click the link in the description box. It's right there for you. As always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go buy the book, okay? And I'm gonna see you on the next video. Say, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>